Look at Dave. One of the challenges safety professionals have is trying to figure out what is the correct level of protection to put in people for the hazards they're working with. And the most confusing area that we run into that is white suits. Right? There's a perception of if it's a white suit, it's Tyvek. The reality is there's a number of different fabric technologies that are used to make garments. They all happen to be white, but they all have very different properties. What we're gonna do in this video is briefly talk about the different fabric technologies used and what they do. So at the very beginning, we're gonna start with something called SMS. SMS stands for Spun Bond, Melt Blown Spun Bond. Spun Bond material is basically, your Spun Bond polypropylene material is basically what a hairnet is made from. So the way this particular material is made is there's two layers of Spun Bond material and a Melt Blown layer in between. So think of it as a, a polypropylene sandwich where that inner layer provides some degree of filtration. The benefits of this material is it's very low cost and it's highly breathable. It's a very open, open structure. However, the problem with it is that it's not really PPE. Because it is so breathable, it's not going to keep hazardous materials out. This is a great fabric for dirty jobs, keep, keep clean type applications, but it's not going to be appropriate if you're dealing with a hazardous, uh, a hazardous particle type situation. Next up, we've got something that's referred to as microporous film. So basically, we take polypropylene substrate, and now what we do is we laminate a layer of plastic material to the surface of it. Very difficult to see on the video, but the photomicrograph shows that extremely thin layer of, of plastic that's laminated to the surface. If you could touch and feel this, you'd feel it. There's a very plastic feel to the surface of it. So this material actually does provide some decent protection. Uh, good news and bad news on it. The good news is when this material is brand new, it's gonna be pretty much impervious to particles. Uh, liquid depends on what the liquid is. Light liquid splash is gonna be great for it. But the problem with this material, there's two different challenges with it. Number one, because it's a plastic suit, it's pretty uncomfortable to wear. You get very hot, very quick in the material. Also, the barrier, the barrier performance of this is just provided by that thin layer of plastic. It's extremely easy to damage that. That area where I scratch with my fingernail is now a breach in the protective layer on that fabric. Okay. At the top of the portfolio is Tyvek. Tyvek is made from 100% high density polyethylene. And the best analogy I can give you on how this material is made, which is what gives it its great properties, is think about cotton candy. Uh, basically, when Tyvek is made, a, a thick mat of randomly sprayed down fibers of high density polyethylene are made. And then that particular material is squeezed together with heat and pressure, uh, and it produces Tyvek. Tyvek has some unique properties. Number one, it is a breathable material, it's air permeable. Uh, next, anyone who's tried to rip open a Tyvek Federal Express envelope realizes it's a very tough material, so it makes a very durable garment. Um, and because it's such a, uh, such a tangled mess of fibers, it provides incredible holdout for particles. It's a very, very difficult path for a particle to try and find its way through the material. Another thing that people don't often think about when we're talking about worker comfort, it's also the thinnest and the light of, lightest weight of all these materials. So uh, we believe it gives you the best balance of comfort, durability, and protection of all the different gel protection fabrics. Once again, DuPont provides uh, garments made of all these different fabric technologies. If you want for more information, please visit us at SafeSpec, www.safespec.dupont.com.